I bet that the last thing you would have thought when it comes to the Czech Republic is wine. But did you know that Czech wine used to be considered one of the best in Europe and that Prague once carried the nickname the city of wine? Well, let me take you on a journey through our winemaking history. The first vineyards were probably planted around the first century AD. However, the real growth of wine culture came with the arrival of Christianity. According to the legends, it was St. Ludmilla, the grandma of St. Wenceslas, who started loving wine, embracing it, and planted her first vineyard in Mnielnik, a small town located about an hour from Prague. By the way, after her death, they buried her in the St. Jude's Basilica at the Prague Castle. Her grandson, St. Wenceslas, decided to continue in her footsteps and planted one of the oldest vineyards in Prague, the vineyard of St. Wenceslas, located right next to the Prague Castle. The biggest impact on Czech winemaking culture had Charles IV, the most famous king of our country. As he grew up in France, he decided to improve Czech winemaking culture by bringing into our country the best grape varieties from Burgundy and Rhineland. And thanks to his efforts, Czech wines in 16th century became as well known as Italian and French wines. Unfortunately, the upcoming centuries heavily damaged Czech winemaking culture and that's why nowadays we produce only enough of wine to cover the demands of our country, leaving us with almost nothing to export. As I like to say, we just rather drink it all. So, you might be asking where you can find some still existing vineyards in Prague and try some of the locally produced wines? Well, welcome in a vineyard in Wenceslas. According to the legends, this vineyard was founded by St. Wenceslas himself in 10th century and until this day they still produce here some wine in here. The great varieties they grow is Rhine Riesling and Pinot Noir. Another great vineyard located in the Prague city center is called Grebovka. You might remember that one from one of our previous videos when we shot a video about the best gardens of Prague. And if you haven't seen it yet, don't forget to check it out. We're going to leave you the link down in the description. But right now we're moving to another vineyard tucked a little bit away from the Prague city center, a vineyard of St. Clair, which is part of Prague's botanical garden. This is a vineyard of St. Clair, a vineyard which dates back all the way to 13th century. There are many reasons why you shouldn't miss a chance to visit this vineyard if you love wine. First of all, it offers incredible views over the Prague city center, Prague castle, and also the whole river area around the Vltava river. Second off, you can visit the Troja Chateau, located directly down below the vineyard, which offers some expositions of the Czech National Gallery. Also, you can visit the nearby zoo, uh, which is considered to be one of the best in the world. Lastly, you can also check out the winery, which offers wines from this vineyard. The best part about visiting this winery is that you can be enjoying a glass of really good wine, having a beautiful panoramic view over the Prague city center and also be here completely alone away from the crowds. So isn't that a good reason for a visit? So I hope you enjoyed our journey through some of Prague's vineyards and find it interesting enough that you can visit some of these vineyards by yourself. Don't forget that you can join us on some of our wine experiences that we have here in Prague as well as the wine tasting day trips out of Prague and you can find more details about these on our website. Links will be down below the video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our socials on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube to get the latest info about up and coming videos. So until the next time, see ya!